Hey everyone, welcome back to another video today. I'll be showing you guys the best video players that are available right now on for like for free and like Windows 10. And let's just get started on the video. So at number one we have Bot Player, and this is a really elegant, simple uh, video player which is like very popular because of simple interface and 3D supports. So we have Bot Player here right now, and You can drag drop subtitles directly onto the player. It also supports like a lot of formats from like all the basic uh, codecs that videos require. So if like for 90% of the time you don't have to you download a extra plugin or codec for the video player, it will like have everything by default in the free version. So alright, so now let's talk about a few features of the block player. Even though the player seems really simple, it does offer a lot of options like in the video um, features that let you really control a lot. You also get really good subtitle support, like it supports different subtitle format and you get inbuilt audio equalization, making sure that you get really good high quality audio playback and it's really easy to control like the hue, saturation, contrast, brightness levels of your videos. You can also create user defined shortcuts making it really easy to control and um, like really quickly make big changes on your videos but it does take some time to get used to and also it's very lightweight so it's not gonna take up much of the cpu meaning it won't also take much of the battery so you'll be able to like watch for longer periods so that is also like a big advantage and the downsides are like it's a little complicated to get used to at first but um but once you get used to it it's not gonna like be a problem anymore and you probably have appreciate the options and advanced settings and another problem is that it's not for mac os and you can download bot player with this link here or you can google search it's gonna be in the description at number two we have another very popular video player this is called vlc media player and this is open source so you can download this for free as well and this is also very known for being extremely uh, sustainable and reliable it's been around for a very long time as well you can um, play a lot of different codecs that you normally need to play you don't have to download anything by default it is um, very customizable as well you can add extensions and stuff and after the new update it expands to like 4k now with HDR and also 360 video support so it's always been like updated and it's open source so you get a lot of perks and features because of that not to mention all the different types of options that are available on VLC alright so let's talk about a few more features that VLC media player offers so probably the most unique option is that you can convert videos to many formats using the built-in video converter so you take any video from your uh, computer and then you can convert that into a different file format so and it comes built in with VLC you don't have to install anything else so that can be useful sometimes and it does a decent job in video converting you have decent options you have that and also you can like stream or download videos directly from YouTube or like other websites for like if there's a video on any website that you think uh, the player isn't really good then you can use VLC to directly um, stream that video or download that video and you can like equalize music and audio using the graphical equalizer so you can like manipulate the music and audio that you're gonna hear also there's an option to loop a section of a video or audio file so that can be useful from time to time using the G and H you can easily align the subtitles if they are not aligned properly with the dialogue so um, you can use the shortcut to bring the subtitles forward or backwards in order to match the timeline of your video also you have another option which lets you like capture your screen so it acts as a screen recorder once you set it up you can use the play button 
uh, and it starts um, like capturing the screen and when you hit stop it stops and saves the video file on a specified location so that is also really nice to have this part of the video that you're watching right now is made with the VLC screen recorder now let's talk about a few downsides of VLC um, one of the problems that a lot of people complain about is that it, VLC can sometimes crash and there are like bugs and issues with like updated versions so even though they are like fixed really quickly you can all still find it annoying also you have the problem with power consumption um, VLC can like take up way too much battery than other uh, video players and so yeah that this is VLC you can download this for free on um, link in the description on this website at number three we have 5k player now this is also growing uh, really popular in the few last few years and this is like really useful if you're dealing with uh, video formats which are of really high resolution like um, 4k and 8k videos so even though VLC also is very good at playing 4k this is also really optimized for 4k and has free airplay DNL I mean airplay DLNA and which is basically what lets you uh, connect your devices together to like create a um, home theater experience I guess you can also download videos from YouTube and all, all like other online platforms directly using the player number one feature is probably that you can like use it for large and heavy files and it they can be played really easily and it's really simple yet very robust and has um, GPU acceleration causing a smooth playback even for like really heavy files like 8k videos and it supports like a lot of file formats and also you can use the dvd option to play back from a dvd another option is that you can do basic video editing like you can cut or trim it's all very minimal but it's still useful to have a few options of so yeah this is this was 5k player um yeah right now it has over 10 million users worldwide so you can get this for free on your um, windows or your mac device all right so at number four we have something that comes by default with uh, every windows which is the movies and tv media player now the reason why this is in the list is not just because um, it's like free and you don't have to do anything but also because it's like optimized really well with windows therefore if you are watching like a movie which is really big uh, it's it's not gonna take up or eat up a lot of battery it's not gonna take up a lot of power so it's you will get longer battery life using windows media player so if you're like on a flight where you have to um, watch a lot of movies or TV videos and you don't want to you like want to save your battery then this is probably the way to go and even though it doesn't like support like all the form like codecs and uh, formats it's still um, like useful for like most of the formats therefore it, it's gonna work like uh, for most of the cases and also you do get um, if you're like subscribed with I never tried this but I guess you can also um, buy movies using this rent and buy movies and I guess if you have the app then you can directly stream or something or like download so all right so um the go-to uh, player video player for um, for a Mac OS would probably be QuickTime player it's also um, not bad which uh, I'm talking about the Mac version of course the Windows version isn't really um, the best for Windows it's not um, it's not that it's uh, it's not that it was bad but it's like it doesn't get any support from Apple so um, it's like not the best option right now yeah so also 5k player for Mac is also very popular uh, so it's like a really good alternative option for QuickTime player and when it comes to Mac the probably the top three video players are like the QuickTime player the 5k player and VLC Pod player, which I talked about a few minutes ago, Pod player has um, a few good um, options for music, 
and it organizes um, things nicely once you like get the hang of everything like the sessions and um, options so yeah these those were my best picks for um, top picks for the best video players and uh, like out of the ones that I've used um, VLC player is really good for all the options that you get and also for all the sustainability and board player is also really good it, it has a lot of um, advanced customization settings supports 3d videos um, it, it, it includes a screen record a lot of people also recommend the media player classic the oh, like the old one which got updated a few like on 2017 is not under development since 2017 so yeah this is why i didn't include um this in the list but it's, it is also a very solid video player it supports pretty much every file format out there it's also very like lightweight so it's not gonna take in a lot of power so yeah those were my top picks for the best video players right now yeah thanks all for watching i'll see you guys again in the next video and don't forget to leave a like if this video was helpful subscribe for more video tutorials i mean uh tutorials in general and have a nice day